For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use Debouncer as a timer with a button inside of CircuitPython. What you'll see here on my desk is I've got a Feather M4, and I have one of these little convenient uh, PCB mounted buttons plugged into it, but any kind of button or switch would work for what we're going to do. And I just have uh, the yellow one here plugged into that. Uh, and what you're going to see is if you look over in my code window at the bottom there, I have the REPL that's uh, giving me feedback on things that are happening here. I'm going to press the button and it says timer started. So what happens is as soon as I press that button, it starts an internal timer. It sets, sets a little, uh, makes a little note, hey, we've started a timer. Uh, and the next event, which is going to be me releasing this button, it'll tell me how much time elapsed. So in this case, it was 13.982 seconds. So you can see here, if I hold it for about a second, let go, ooh, almost exactly a second. Uh, if I try to be fast about it, I get zero, uh, 0.059 seconds. So uh, a really nice, easy way to set up a timer here that's really simple. I'm importing the board library, digital I.O., and the Adafruit debouncer. Then I'm setting up my button as a digital in on pin A1. I'm setting it with a pull up resistor and then the button variable equals debouncer and then that button pin. Then during the main loop, we do a debouncer update. In this case, it says button.update. Just looks for something to change, uh, an edge case of something pressing or releasing. If the button falls, then we say, hey, the timer started. If the button releases, we print time and then we print this line time button dot last duration. So the last duration is that timer that says as soon as something happens, we're going to start counting. And as soon as the next thing happens, we're going to let you know how long that duration was between the events. And so that is how you can set up a timer in CircuitPython using the debouncer library. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec. <laughs>